Hey everybody, I have another Super Sag Saturday to do for you. It's an open tag started by John Thrifty Kniffy. Really great channel, please go check him out. And in the open tag, you just, you show off a sack to, to Thrifty Kniffy. <laughs> uh, today we're gonna check out the Victorinox Compact. And uh, before I do, I have one more shout out. I got this in a trade um, from Jesse McJames, the Elaine Outlaw. So shout out to him. I'll have links down below to both their channels. And uh, please go check them out and give them a sub if you haven't already. But um, let's check out the box real quick. It's model number. So online it's just 1.3045, but this one has an X1. And I'm not sure why there's an X1. So maybe uh, Slip Joint Sawyer can help me out with that one. But compact red. I did not peel there. I just went ahead and ripped it open. <laughs> but um, just typical box nothing special i wanted something kind of small and slim um for a, like a, a perfect edc knife and uh, something i can put in like a little edc pouch and carry uh one of the options i, I got was uh the those victorinox waiter and this is great this great knife it has a one blade no it has yeah one blade has a combo tool uh corkscrew and then you have the you know the tools and the scales so this one's a little, this is 81 millimeter. This is a little bit larger. This is a 91 millimeter. This is 83 and not 81, sorry. So really nice looking scales on that one. So I'm gonna try and keep it, you know, fairly good condition. And um, starting with the front, you have some really nice scissors, really large scissors. And I don't, here we go. There's something to cut. Fairly sharp. I like it when some some of them when they come here when you're cutting it they just kind of slide through it as you're going. Really sharp, so it might need to be broken in, but fantastic to have a pair of scissors on you. And then you have the spear point blade. You got the Torinox Swiss made stainless. Officer Swiss. Really nice uh, spear point there. And is it sharp? Probably. It's very sharp good snap on it too and finally we have the combo tool on that side so you have your flathead screwdriver you have your Phelps head screwdriver you have your can opener cap lifter and wire stripper half stops to go along with the, the knife right there so really cool on those scales you have the tweezers toothpick and you have a, a little ballpoint pen I haven't used it yet, so I'll see if it works there. You got blue ink in there. Works really good. Always nice to have a backup pen because they're always breaking on me. And then on the back you have the corkscrew and it comes with a needle and the pin hole. You have the little flat head eyeglass screwdriver. And then finally you have the parcel hook. And there's a lot of uses to this, and you can Google them. But um, I think carrying anything, that's probably the best one. You can just loop a string there. You can do your groceries. But uh, there's tons of uses. You can, you can use it in combination with the pen, too. Let me see if I can figure this out. You want to be careful. You don't want to go down. You don't want to snap down on the pen, but oh, like that. And that wasn't the pen anyways. I'm going to use the tweezers so I don't ruin it, the pen. But you can do it like that with the pen. And then you have, you can write with it like that. Since I'm on camera, I don't want to ruin it. So I will just avoid it. They're nice and tight in there too. Uh, another thing that's cool though about the, the parcel hook is it has a nail file on it. And I'm, you know, I'm breaking my nails a lot. So it's nice to have something just to kind of fix it. I love that it's on the back of that. So it's like just adding more functionality to it. And so that's what I, that's what I thought I'd do. So I'm gonna get, I'm gonna try out various tools to go in the corkscrew. I have some other stuff, I'll just surprise you, um, that I'm gonna add to it, just to add some functionality functionality to it. I'm gonna do a little EDC kit. I got a Viper Aid pouch I'm gonna do a review on soon. And that's gonna be a, kinda like a EDC pouch slash wallet. So I'm just gonna try and condense everything into that little pouch. Um, so I'm able to eliminate a pen, a knife, 
um, just tons of stuff with this one. And I, I don't always carry my SD Classic or my Rambler, depending on what keychains I, I carry with me. So it's nice to have scissors and a nail file. Um, but yeah, we'll see how it is. Uh, thank you all for watching. Um, let me know what your uh, your minimal Victorinox or minimal knife is. It doesn't have to be a Victorinox, but your minimal multi-tool is it the Gerber Dime or a SOG Crosscut, anything like that. Let me know what down below. And uh, thank you all for watching.